YouTube viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another Marvel Legends news update. So in my last update video, or news video, I had to go back and add an annotation. It appears Mr. Tibbs was correct, and my apologies for him, or to him, from me. It He was the first one to leak the information about Amazon listing six figures from an Ant-Man wave which tentatively it looks like it's confirmed don't have UPCs for any of those figures so I can't look them up on any other site um, but they are listed if you know how to work their system and I guess if you are a if you have like reseller privileges on Amazon then they will appear so they list an Ant-Man a bulldozer a giant man, a reaper, a tiger shark, and a wasp figure. So, you know, we don't know, like I said in my last video, we don't know what the build a figure is going to be. Um, but uh, that's very cool news. Hopefully, we can get some UPCs, or hopefully, here in the next couple of weeks at Toy Fair, they will actually announce that wave and uh, maybe show off some figures. That would be awesome. Um, in other news, more more importantly, new information that I found, um, as if you watched my last video, you know, or news video, you know that um, the information that I found came from Barnes and Noble's website, and that they listed a Blizzard, Doctor Strange. Uh, hero number one, Iron Man, uh, Thundra, Valkyrie, and War Machine. So, you know, we again aren't going to know what the build a figure is, and there was speculation whether or not this is going to be a Barnes and Noble exclusive. And my new information confirms that. These figures not only appear on Walgreens database, which it didn't it occur to me that the numbers from Walgreens, the screenshot computer from Walgreens, coincides with all the UPCs from Barnes and Noble. It's just that Walgreens, for whatever reason, they truncate the last digit in their system. And that is a good clue that we are going to get an uh, a Walgreens exclusive. Um, it was hinted that that's going to be a Ant Man figure or a figure from the Ant Man series, um, but it just shows up as uh, I believe it just shows up as Avengers. So um, we're just going to have to wait and see as far as that goes. So my guess is it's probably going to be from an Avengers wave but um, we'll just have to wait and see now you can see here in these um, screenshots we've got the the Walgreens computer and then the next picture here shows those same UPCs that not only do they show up on barnesandnoble.com except for the last one that last one has got to be a Walgreens exclusive because not only do these figures show up in a Walgreens computer they're showing up on barnesandnoble.com and they're showing up in Target and uh, a friend of mine who works at Target was able to pull up all of these figures in Target system minus that one figure in the Walgreens computer that ends in 982. So, um, you know, it could be because we don't have that last digit from the Walgreens computer. It's not going to pull up on um, Target system, but I think I think he punched in all the same numbers from Walgreens computer minus that last digit, and they all came up. And they're all just coming up as a Captain America DPCI, which, you know, 
we're struggling with right now trying to find the Odin wave because they just show up as the same DPCI as the cap wave and it's making it extremely difficult for us to um, to differentiate you know when we call up we have to have somebody physically go look and see what they actually have because you know you have two different waves of figures with the same DPCI you know, they're just making it harder for everybody so really hoping that maybe we can start a petition to try to get Target to stop doing that um, because it's just going to cause more problems for them and for us. So, um, got some screenshots here from Target showing a uh, handheld computer verifying that these figures do come up there and uh, except for that one that ends in um, 1982. So, again, that, that leads me to believe that we are going to get a Walgreens exclusive. Um, and, again, it says Avengers, not Ant-Man, but so far all the hints that we've been getting is it is going to be from the Ant-Man wave, which kind of makes sense because um, they're listing, let's see, six figures for Ant-Man wave, um, whereas the Avengers, this tentative Avengers wave, they're, they're listing seven. We got seven in the Odin wave. Um, we're only getting six in the uh, Thanos wave, and I believe six in the Spider-Man wave. So I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. But um, hopefully you guys like the information, and it's all very exciting. I hope all of it comes true. Again, you know, nothing is set in stone. They've they've shown or figures have shown up in in computers in the past and they just never came to fruition so we'll just have to wait and see hopefully we'll get some new news here in uh in a couple weeks from toy fair um but if all this comes true it's going to be a super great year for marvel legends collectors and with that i'm going to leave you with brock hey you don't forget to hit like Share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Brock out. That's crispy.